and I might as well show you our view now. We're in row P, which is the same row we sat in for Chicago. You can hear the orchestra tuning up. Okay, here's the view. The curtain is this lovely St. Paul's Cathedral London watercolour view. And, as usual, a bit of a look around the theatre itself. Oh, it's lovely. And yeah, let's wait for the show to start. Act one is done, and I just came out of the theatre for a bit to get a breath of air. It's turned into an absolutely amazing day. Oh, I'm really happy now. It was an the act one was so good. I love this show so much. So far, I have absolutely no complaints at all. Like, it has beautiful music. It really has your traditional, you know, iconic old theatre style. It also has, you know, the all the cast are flaw. I was I went to say faultless and flawless, flawless. Yeah, well, they're they're both of those things. And um, yeah, it was just amazing. I'm gonna sit down. Um, it was brilliant. It really has your like old musical theatre style, but also has like amazing staging. It has amazing, it has like Les Miserables level music. Like it's that good, but a better story, could I say? Because it's just such a feel good show. It's so good. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna just walk around for a bit, go get some ice cream, and go in for act two. Okay, hello. I'm back and I have a lot of thoughts. Actually, hold on a second. This doesn't feel very fancy, does it? For talking about My Fair Lady. Hang on a sec. There, that's better. Okay, I thought I'd start with a brief synopsis of the story of the musical. So My Fair Lady tells the story of Eliza Doolittle, a young cockney flower seller who wishes to learn to talk more like a lady in a more upper class accent. One day she's noticed by um, phonetics professor Henry Higgins, who thinks that he's just a lovely man who just can't get along with women. In reality, he's a stuck up snob. And... So he bets that he can transform her into a lady and be able to pass her off as a duchess, duchess at a grand ball and all sorts of shenanigans ensues. Immediately, I would give this show five out of five. It was incredible. I came out of the, I came out of act one at the interval being like, if act two is as amazing as that just was, it's going to be five out of five immediately. And the biggest contributing factor for that was the sets. Because, not because the main set of the show is this incredible two-story house for Professor Henry Higgins that, ha that revolves, so it has multiple rooms. I think there's, let me see, one, two, three. There's about like four rooms and a little garden piece and it has big windows and loads of like working doors so you can 
go from side to side in the set and it revolves like I've said it's just incredible it, you just look at it and you're, and you're like how is that on stage how has this not collapsed how did they build this and what's even more incredible is that this set is able to like come apart because it obviously has to be packed up to be taken to the next venue on the tour so yeah the sets were incredible the music was amazing I listened to the soundtrack for the first time three days before I saw the show and I think that was actually the perfect way to do it because I knew the songs but I didn't know this but I didn't know the songs like I knew the songs to hear but I didn't know all the lyrics and everything so yeah the music was incredible and there was a 16 piece live orchestra which really added to it The real highlight of this show for me was the Ascot Gavotte, which is a song that they sing in Act One, where Eliza has recently made a breakthrough into learning to speak more like a lady, but you know, she's still not entirely there. So Henry Higgins decides to test her in public, if you will, and takes her to Royal Ascot, a horse race. And it started with this really prim and proper Aren't We Posh? We're All Very Posh song, the Ascot Gavon. Gavon, sorry. And then there's a race, and Eliza completely loses the run of herself and just goes straight back into Cockney. Like, she's doing quite well at this whole I'm Posh charade, although there's still some iffy moments and then she just completely loses it screaming on the horse she's placed a bet on i might insert the scene from the movie actually come on come on dover move your blooming ass michael d xavier as henry higgins was incredible so Henry Higgins has no really like belty long songs to sing. It's a lot of very fast wordy songs, if you will. And he completely nailed like an element of half singing, half speaking, you know. So every time he was on, he completely nailed it, got it and delivered. Charlotte Kennedy as Eliza, the main character, I also really liked. I will say that her posh accent left a little to be desired. You know, it didn't feel very natural. It felt very forced and stage schooly, which obviously when she's just start, when Eliza's just started speaking like that, it is very put on. So that makes sense. But towards the end of the show, when she's meant to have like developed the accent and she's can just do it unconsciously, it still felt very forced at times. So I didn't like that. All her singing, however, was incredible. Although her vibrato, Got a tiny bit annoying at times, but still, it was just incredible. She was amazing. I could have danced all night. One of her big solos was amazing and got one of the longest periods of applause after a song. I genuinely don't think I have any criticisms to make about this show other than what I've already given. Um, it's just incredible. It's so it is so well put together, you know, all the set transitions, I've talked about the set, all the transitions when they have huge pieces of sets that need to either move back to the back of the stage or come down from the top onto stage or come in from the sides. Is they were done so smoothly and all accompanied by the beautiful orchestral music. So you really just, it felt so, what's the word I'm looking for? It felt so sleek. It felt so... It felt so clean, that's the word. It it was just incredible, I'm sorry. I know I sound a bit like a broken record, but I just cannot praise this show highly enough. So yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say. I really hope you enjoyed this video. My Fair Lady is currently touring the UK and um, I think it's going to Cardiff next. So if anyone's in Cardiff, hello, go see this show, it's amazing. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Please consider subscribing and giving this video a like. I'd love to have you with me and I will see you next time. Bye.